this week, Rory McIlroy ended his PGA Tour winning drought and could it all be down to his new golf ball? Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I'd like to welcome you to the channel if you're not new to the channel. But guys, if you are new to this channel, please take two seconds, hit that subscribe button below and you won't miss any of the great golf related content I bring to you guys 365 days a year, especially today because I'm giving away a couple of dozen of the new tailor-made TP5X golf ball as used by the man himself, Rory McIlroy. Now we don't have the number 22 balls like McElroy does, but we do have number two, which is, I mean, we've got two of the twos. So anyway, and let's talk new TP5X and let's talk Rory's resurgence. Is it down to the ball? Is it down to his new coach? Is it down to uh, the world becoming a little bit more normal place again? Like a tiny bit. So guys, to win a couple of dozen of the brand new 2021 TP5X balls, all you have to do, you have to be a subscriber to this channel, you have to like this video, and just comment below, balls. Literally, balls. And that is an outrageous start. Oh. Outrageous start. Do you like the little makeshift shot tracer today? Yeah. So guys, first of all as well, I would like to apologize if the audio isn't quite as crisp as you would usually come to expect on my videos. We've had quite a few problems with microphones this week and I've now bought another new microphone and that doesn't seem to work either. So bear with me. We have got a road mic on top of here, hoping that's gonna do the job today. However, I know it's a little bit windy. Speaking of wind, we tried to film this video yesterday with John at Woolley Park Golf Club. And we got one hole in um, and then it kind of got a bit silly with the weather but one of the big striking things about this ball for me initially is the um the packaging using oh look at that the Ooh. red oh i didn't expect that no, did you i wasn't expecting that i thought the packaging was a bit dull to be yeah uh, yeah you know what that should be the outer layer but there we go hey, up. good catch sir oh, oh. <laughs> what a drive. That's massive. To a flight, drawing lovely. Get left. <laughs> Get right. Go right. So guys, in case you didn't hear me and in case the wind was too windy up there, if that's what wind generally does, <laughs> we are giving away a couple of dozen of these golf balls. You won't have heard this because you were chasing after the box. Are we giving them away? We're giving them away, yeah. So all you have to do, guys, you have to be subscribed to this channel. You have to like this video and comment below. To a flight. Balls. Oh, God damn it. Balls. Um, yeah, so, yeah, if you want them. If you don't want them, then don't comment below. But, yeah. When you buy a dozen of the new tailor-made TP5X balls, you get them in a nice big silver box, which looks quite cool, but then you see the sleeves of three, and these look so much cooler. I don't know why they haven't gone for that on the actual outer packaging, but um, if that's our only downside about a new ball, then tailor-made are doing quite well. So the TP5X is a five-piece golf ball. It has a new seamless tour flight dimple pattern, which is always an interesting thing for me because I'm not on tour, I'm guessing you're not on tour. Are you on tour? No? Bob? I, I don't under, I, I get that we want to kind of aspire to be the best, but tour, I, I, it's such an overused word. It's a high launch, high spin, and a soft feel ball, which is interesting because for me, I've been using the TaylorMade TP5X for, I mean, about nearly, 18 months and one of the only gripes I have about it is that it's such a firm feeling golf ball it just feels a little bit too hard and even having got used to it a little bit I still feel like the TP5X is a little bit firm this new one and I felt this yesterday on the one hole we played with it before we retired because of the tornado slash hurricane slash whatever that was feels soft so now there's no gripes and I do think the whole Rory thing is interesting because yes 
Ooh, 150 on the nose. Yes, he has returned to a little bit of form. Yes, he was always gonna win again, but having worked with his new coach, Pete Cowan, for literally a couple of weeks, he's back in the winner's circle. And I think that's a huge monkey off his back, a huge weight off his shoulders, and it's brilliant for all of us. Can we make a birdie with the new TP5X? No. Um. So guys, if you have already commented balls on this video and liked the video and obviously subscribed to try the new TaylorMade TP5X balls, Get in the comments below as well and let me know what am I going to shoot for these three holes. We've missed the green left there. That was a terrible, terrible shot. Just a horrible smothered pull. And also, what ball do you use and why do you use it? Do you use a TP5, TP5X, Pro V1, Pro V1X, Callaway Chrome Soft, Callaway Chrome Soft, XLS? You get the lot of balls. So, as always on this channel, when testing products, we obviously like to test them within an inch of their life. We have to test these balls, not just off the tee, but around the greens. So I obviously missed the green on purpose there from 150 yards. Right, come on. Nice and soft. We're going to go aerial route. Oh, that's delightful. Just kick forward now. Wonderfully soft. So keen viewers of the channel will know that I have been using the Pix version of these balls for quite some time. And I do really enjoy that I am going to carry on using the Pix, I think. Just because when I get to the ball, I know it's there, I know it's mine, I can see it from 10, 15 yards away, which really helps. Right, par putt. Alignment aid on the new TP5X, you will see that we have something very, very similar to the previous model, but it's just kind of dashed and filled in a little bit. So you still have that nice sharp line on there. How does it work for a par putt? Wonderful. Wonderfully. Right. What a day. The difference a day makes. Very cliche, I know, but... I also hear a lot of the comments already in this video saying, James, why on earth are you doing a ball review without being in the studio to test it for numbers, to test it for spin, to test it for distance and all the rest. You see, my big plan is to test these low spin golf balls all together in the studio and put them head to head and see which one works best for me. And then also test them out here on the golf course where it really matters. Because I think often when you are testing a golf ball, it means more around the green feel with even such as the putter. And what else did TaylorMade say about Rory's new ball, the TP5X? Increased green spin through a new softer urethane, fast ball speeds, HMF speed layer system for iron and driver performance, and a new tour flight dimple pattern, which we spoke on. Bob, tour? No, still no? Okay, which we spoke on earlier on. And that is enhanced aero for reduced drag. And without coming to the camera again, you can actually, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. can actually see and certainly feel a difference in the dimples from the previous generation. Definitely. 190 yards, wonderful. I think today that could be a five iron. Just a nice struck five iron, fading in, and we'll have a birdie too. or Healy towards the bunker. Either works, really, I think, that's what we're trying to do. Right, not my best stuff. And guys, Rory was actually testing out the TP5 not long ago, I believe it was late last year, but then decided to stay in the TP5X from what I've read. I looked at his what's in the bag stats from the Wells Fargo where he won and he was gaming the new TP5X, which is interesting. I think that soft feel might mean that more players will stay in the TP5X because of that lovely feel. Right. Right, so it turns out we have avoided the bunker um, just. I think that's safe to say we've gotten away with that. And this is another one of those shots where we just need a lob wedge, obviously, and a nice soft feel. You can tell Chris is away, can't you? I'll need a new lob wedge by the time this is all over. Right. Oh, that checked lovely as well. I mean, the thing is, you do expect a premium golf ball to do all these things. 
to check to go a long way to spin as you would expect at around 2000 with a driver so how much better can they start making them that's the worry that's where I almost start to think all these kind of marketing terms and things like that how much better can golf balls get and how much better do they need to get I'm not entirely sure but what I do know is we've got another par put let's roll this in for par birdie the last and then breakfast will taste a lot better has been an early morning for me today Wonderful. Oh. So one of the big talking points about Rory and winning at the Wells Fargo now means he's probably going to be one of the favourites for the PGA next week. And he also won, was it at Quail Hollow? No, he won at Quail Hollow for the Wells Fargo. Well, the PGA is at Kiowa Island where Rory won his second major, obviously the PGA. So is he going to win again? Guys, get in the comments, is Rory going to win? And is he going to win with... Focus, focus, focus. Any chance? And is he going to win with a new TP5X? And also, how much do we think a golf ball change has helped him or changed him? Or Do we think realistically for a golfer of that level, he just gets given the golf ball that he's contracted to play and just hits it, finds it, hits it again and carries on? Is it us that overthink these things? Maybe. The best golf I played was the 25p pink ball from Decathlon. So there you go. Come on, we've not lost one yet either. I must say I love the feel and the ball flight I get with driver and that golf ball. Love it. Going all Kevin Keegan. I'd love it if we beat them. Love it! So interesting now, I just got another glimpse of the box when I was using it for the shot tracer alignment because I forgot my little tripod which has really really annoyed me today if anyone can tell. But I got a glimpse of it and it said the most complete... Oh, I forgot what it said. Tour distance complete performance. The most complete tour ball, um, I was going to say ever, but it doesn't say ever. The most complete tour ball, which is great. And I've, I know I've said this before in this video, but is that going to put some people off? Is that a bit of reverse engineered marketing? Is it going to hinder them? Because I know a lot of people who like to play a low spin golf ball, who like to play the TP5X, but tour, complete tour. I mean, I like to play the TP5X, but I'm nowhere near good enough to be on tour. So should I be playing something else? I don't know. Oh. What I do know is this walk and this view never gets old. Check that out. Where's that ball? Oh, she's miles down there. Absolutely miles down there. And you see, another thing that I know is that I've hit two good shots in this video, two. Apart from the putts, the putts were nice to roll in. But both of the actual good shots I hit were with the driver. Because when I'm testing a ball, I just like to hit it hard and hope for that I'm going to get the performance out of it. Fair enough, it's bone dry now. This is downwind, it's a par five. I'm going to have about a pitching wedge in. Absolutely sailing past the 150 down here. So I know it's the elements as well, but that is the longest way down I've been here pretty much ever, I think. Can we make an eagle? Steven Seagal 133 yards left into the par 5 downhill downwind easy wedge again I'm sick of this really anything other than an eagle here is a disappointment isn't it with a wedge in oh, sit down and be good sit Oh, that is a chance. That is a chance. Come on. That is an eagle putt of probably about 15 feet, which I think's, yeah, I think that's okay. And kind of round the video off about the ball, I like it. I like how it feels softer, the dimple pattern. I mean, it looks okay on the ball. It's obviously, if you can tell the difference in dimples on balls, then you spend a lot of time looking and testing and feeling golf balls, don't you? But for me, I like how it performs. I think it's performed okay in the wind today. Apologies if there is any kind of wind interference and noise, because like I said, we've had a few issues, but even yesterday in the gale force winds, I really, really, really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, Rory's new ball. I'm gonna give it a solid, I, mean, I never give things a rating. So I'm gonna give it a solid seven out of 10. 
Um, the reason it's not an eight is that I've never given a rating before. So, yeah, making up as we go along now, aren't we? Walking onto this green for that for eagle. Right, this is for this is for the USPGA at Kiwa Island. I'm not quite Rory McIlroy, but need to get my pellet on. I think. certainly feels softer off the putter and that does help me with distance control. I mean that's not great but it's not bad. I mean you're going to take these for birdie all day long aren't you and that is a fairly comprehensive review of Rory McIlroy's golf ball for 2021 the TaylorMade TP5X. Guys thank you so much for watching really hope you have enjoyed that if you have make sure you do smash that subscribe button below and also leave us a like so this video gets to more golfers just like yourself. Comment below balls if you are a subscriber and if you're not a subscriber subscribe then comment balls and you'll be in with a chance of winning some tailor-made tp5x because i need to stop doing that when i test golf balls apart from that guys i'll very much look forward to seeing you all tomorrow Boy, just thinking I think that might be my longest drive ever like fair enough it's downhill but that's definitely making it into the title yes and that is an outrageous start Flight, going lovely. Get left!